How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase showing this 2020 Dodge Durango. Thanks for checking out this week's Build Showcase. What we're going over this 2020 Dodge Charger for the Pompton Lakes Police Department. What we have, if you've ever seen any of their previous vehicles, we have a completely new color for them. So we have this uh, battleship gray type color with a complete new graphics package that we took care of for them. And so what we're gonna be starting off with is the vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical system. We have the vehicle to vehicle sync. This vehicle is one of six vehicles that's new to their fleet this year. Uh, so all of their vehicles are programmed the same way and all of the patterns will sync up whether they're in drive, park, or they're on scene mode to give them uh, less chaos, less distraction on scene, especially for uh, DUI incidents or just in general distracted driving with somebody coming up at night. So up top we have a 48 inch N-Force with dual color front, giving them the white override feature. They also have white override on the left and right. It'll also do a different pattern when the vehicle's in drive to give them a little bit more of an aggressive uh, response mode pattern. We've got two dual color sound off signal four inch M-Powers in the grill. They also have the white override feature. On the front bumper, uh, we have our front intersection bracket made out of HDP. It gives you uh, the ability to mount two M-Powers to either side and gives them the additional alley light feature with the white override. This bracket has been specifically designed to work with the M-Power, so it's only one inch thick, giving you a lesser profile as our uh, previous models have. So taking a look at the side, you can see the new graphics package that we uh, designed with them. Uh, we have their patch that we brought over from previous vehicles. Uh, we have the sound off signal under mirror intersectors in dual color with the white override feature. Uh, what some things that we did with this through the OBD2 port reader, uh, we have door kill on both sides. So it kills the corner module and the under mirror light to help prevent uh, the officer's night vision being affected at night. Okay, taking a look at the back. Uh, in order to maintain all the factory warranty, of uh, we've rewired the parking light ring and we've replaced the bulbs with an aftermarket LED bulb. And then we wired this into Blueprint so all of the lights are controlled through Blueprint. They're the same pattern and we still have the OEM functions that we're controlling through the OBD2 reader. What you notice when we open the hatch is the rear hatch warning light shut off and we have our four inch M powers on the hatch lip to give them rear warning because our light bar is covered. We've installed a 12 inch LED strip light to the hatch to illuminate the area here. You can see we have one of our standard weapons drawer cabinets along with our Durango replacement floor. And this gives us access to our electronics area for easy serviceability. It also gives them the ability to store some other equipment under here and we also have access to our radio chassis. In the vehicle we've installed the rear radar unit for them along with the Centina rear partition with the wire mesh. Uh, we've done the Centina single cell partition with the center poly divider and we have our rear replacement transport seat. So what we've done in the front here is we have our Havis Shields full replacement Durango console that accommodates our floor mounted shifter. We have our hit mount Dodge Durango laptop mount. Very nice because it doesn't block any of the passengers sitting in the seat here. We've got our docking station with our card swipe. We've got our L3 camera system with our camera head mounted to the headliner along with our uh, controller. And then we've got our printer mounted to the partition along with our flashlight and our single weapons rack. So what we're taking a look at now is our drive response mode. What this done is it's enabled our white flashing to give them additional response. Uh, as we get to the light bar, all of our dual color modules are now flashing white. Uh, and this automatically shuts off as soon as they put the vehicle back into park. Thanks for checking out this week's Build Showcase. If you have any questions about this vehicle or any other vehicles that we've built, please give us a call. Please comment on the video. Shoot us a direct message on any one of our social media platforms. We'd be happy to talk to you about your next project, and we look forward to serving you.